How's it going ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Six and welcome back to I the Somnium Files. So, uh, we had to cut this off part way through because we were um we were running we were well out of time actually. Um we're on our road to on our very close to the next ending I would say. Uh, why does the warehouse have to be kept at a freezing temperature? To preserve something? To preserve something. Yes. Let us move on to the next question. And then hopefully we'll get to do the true ending. Second question. Soon. There was something strange about the corpse. Its eyes been removed? remember what that was? It's naked. Its eyes been removed, like usual. Is it missing its right eye? That is a unique factor. But there was something else, something more peculiar. What? It was completely frozen? Iris's body was completely frozen. The temperature read negative 58. With Iris's weight... It would take longer? I was wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? It is, you know. 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? It should have taken about 18 hours to freeze solid. But we were... Wait a moment. Before you draw your conclusion, allow me to ask my final question. Okay. Question three. Two days ago, Sunday night, you found a dead body in the cold storage warehouse. Yes. But afterward, you visited the Sagan household and discovered that Iris was in fact still alive. Correct. Why? Because we changed time? I don't know. You mean... You mean... You've got it. No, I don't. I just said you mean, because that sounds like the right thing to say. I bolted the warehouse like it was a shot out of a gun. Mmm, coffee. It's the same body, isn't it? What are we looking for? I don't believe it. The stomach is swollen slightly. She appears to have been pregnant. How? Do not worry. The uterus does not contain a fetus. You mean, after she was killed? No. The fetus was not present in her body when she was killed. What is going on? She must have been killed after giving birth. The distended stomach does not immediately shrink after birth. The expanded uterus takes some time to return to its normal size. So she just popped a baby out earlier that morning. This evidence makes one thing <laughs> perfectly obvious. This corpse isn't Iris. It's someone else. Which means... Iris is still alive. And that's the same body we found earlier, Not they just hit it. She could be alive. We haven't confirmed that yet. But this lady's dead. Multiple stab wounds Isn't that with sad? a single-edged, sharp object to the victim's back. Judging by the size and shape of the marks, the weapon was most likely a kitchen knife. This matches what you said on Sunday. So this is the body I saw then. Maybe it was Oda's mum. Thinking it was Iris. Is there an estimated time of death? Impossible to determine. This body has been completely frozen for at least 10 years. 10 years? She was killed more than 10 years ago? Exactly. Oh. Oh my god, maybe it's... Maybe it's Iris's real mum and Hatomi killed her. Her identity is unknown. Her anything could happen. <laughs> this is anime, is man. Anything could happen. Suspect. Who? Let's consider the clues. The scene. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Ranger, yeah? 
Sunday night, we saw so here. And there is something else about So Sejima. We witnessed someone similar to Iris being stabbed repeatedly in So Somnium. That's a so killed it. But it wasn't Iris. It was this woman. That is highly likely. What we saw was So's memory from more than ten years ago. I believe that is the case. So you did kill someone then. We better go hit him up on that. Renju and So? But we still do not know where Renju is. That means that we need to talk to... So. So Sejima. He doesn't like talking to us. A pitiful corpse. Just looking at it makes my chest hurt. Harsh, man. Pitiful. Poor lady. Didn't you just give him birth? That's a sucky plot time to get murdered. I mean, it's never a good time to be murdered, but that's a really sucky time to be murdered. Mizuki and Oda kept searching for Iris, but unfortunately, they didn't turn up anything. Iris's whereabouts are still unknown. I'm worried about her, but without any leads, we'd just be looking for her blindly. I should focus on the investigation for now. It'll eventually lead me to Iris, I'm sure of it. With that in mind, I head to So's mansion. I thought I told you. Never to show your face here again. Eat my ass. Oh. I clicked outside the screen again. My bad. It never seems to actually cause a problem. A topiary. I didn't come here for Shoko today. I didn't come here for Iris either. Instead, I'm here for a girl who looks like Iris. Did you kill her? Date, look. I knew it. You killed her, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I've had enough of your shit, Congressman! You wanted to check on the body of the girl you killed. That's why you were at the cold storage warehouse two days ago. Keep pushing. Where is Renju Okiura? You know where he is, don't you? You were at an Okiura fishery warehouse for a reason. There's definitely a connection between you two, and that's not all. Number 89 called your secretary. The same number 89 that Renju escaped with. Now tell me, where is Renju? Suddenly, pineapples. A gang of bodyguards stormed out the mansion. In an instant, they surrounded me. Here we go again. We'd like to ask you to please leave. God damn, I hate politicians. This is not working out for us. <laughs> damn it, so! There's nothing we can do. We did arrive without a warrant. We were technically trespassing. If he had called the police, we would be in a predicament. I don't care. We would have been detained immediately. Who would look after Iris then? Do you intend to leave your responsibility with Mizuki and Ota? Ugh. Calm down, Date. Nag, we nag, still nag. Have our lead. Lead? Before I explain, we need to discuss the corpse in the cold storage warehouse. Be my Let's guess. Let's give her a name. Because she is frozen solid, we could call her All Ice or Alice. What do you think? Really? Alice from Alice Zero Escape? And Iris. I believe it fits nicely. Alright, Alice. What about her? Someone might be able to identify her. It's a nice reference to Zero Escape oh. there. I like that. Allow me to ask you three questions. Like it? Again with this? First question. You have seen this corpse more than twice. Three times, in fact. When was the first time? I don't know. Three days ago? Three days ago. Saturday night when I synced at Abyss. Yes. In the Somnium world, we saw the frozen corpse of a girl. Question two. That's right, in Mizuki's Somnium. Who is the girl? Alice. So how does Mizuki know Alice? Now I know. 
That girl was probably Alice. That's why she was blurred. Most likely, yes. So we have technically known Alice for three days. Right. That makes sense. One last thing. The final question. In which Somnium did we see Alice? Mizuki's. That means Mizuki knows her. My roommate, Mizuki Okiura. Exactly. You mentioned something about Mizuki's Somnium being some kind of prophecy. But prophecies are nonsense. Dreams are not made of the future. They are made from the past. Which means she knows Alice. Therefore... Yes. Let's go talk to him. Mizuki has seen Alice before. There is no other explanation. She's seen the corpse of Alice Iba, before. Where is Mizuki now? Where we went with Iris yesterday. The Kume Shrine. The Shrine? Why would she be there? Unknown. She is supposed to be looking for Iris. Okay, let's go. Okay. Seems dodgy. Whatever. I can live with that. Here we go. Maybe she's the killer this time. Who knows? When would she have seen the corpse? Date. Did you find Iris? If I did, I would have told you already. Right. What are you doing here? Iris used to like this shrine. She told me about all her memories here. We used to come here all the time. You know those steps in the front? We would sit there together and talk about things. Like what gluten-free means and eyelash <laughs> extensions and aerial yoga. Aerial and yoga? How do, you do, how do you do yoga in the air? Sometimes we would talk late into the night. So I thought that maybe she'd be here. But it looks like I was wrong. Where's Renju? I think Iris is with Renju. With Daddy? Yeah. Her note mentioned her most trusted person. That's probably Renju. Yeah. I remember that mermaid girl saying something like that. He was looking for Iris. Does that mean that Daddy is the one who called for Iris? It could be. So I need to know where he is. But I haven't been able to get a hold of him. It's about Alice. Mizuki, I have something very important to ask you. Very important. I told Mizuki about the frozen corpse we call Alice. You've seen her before, haven't you? Three days ago, I saw her in your Somnium. The body of a girl who looks like Iris, Alice. Your dreams are built from your memories. So that corpse... Mizuki, please answer me. Iris's life is at stake. Huh? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Come on, lady. Oh, crap. I got flustered. Tell Mizuki everything. But how Renji ran off with the assassin, number 89. How 89 is connected to So Sejima. And that Sejima is linked to Alice's murder. I need to know everything about Alice. If I find out who she is, I might be able to solve the mystery of Renju and number 89. And that might lead me to Iris. Mizuki looked down at her feet quietly. I can see agony in her face. The silence lingered. Finally, she steeled herself, lifted her head and spoke. Okay, I'll tell you about Alice. Alice. Go on then. It was about a month ago. I saw my daddy crying in the president's office at Lemniscape. I was peeking through a crack in the door so he didn't see me. Daddy got up, then got into his car and drove away. I had never seen him like that before. I was curious, so I followed him in a taxi. Of course you did. That led me to the cold storage warehouse. He got out of his car and went inside. 
I followed right behind him, quietly. Daddy was standing next to the forklift in the back. I hid behind a shelf. I watched Daddy open the hood of the forklift, and then, after a little bit, he left. I wanted to know what he was looking at. I went over to the forklift, and I looked under the hood myself. And then... You saw Alice's dead body. But at the time, I thought it was Iris. Do you talk to Rinju about it? What do you mean? I couldn't just ask. It would have changed everything. I thought that as long as I stayed quiet, everything would be okay. I didn't see a dead body. I wasn't even at the warehouse. I repeated that to myself over and over and tried to forget the whole thing. Repressed memories are often the subject of Somnia. That's why Alice showed up during the sink. What did you do after that? The corpse looked exactly like Iris. Yes, it I does. I couldn't believe she was dead. I just couldn't. So I went to Iris' house. Huh? What's wrong, Mizuki? Iris was alive. I thought I was going crazy. Or dreaming. I tried to convince myself that it was just a hallucination. Why didn't you call the police? What was I supposed to do? Daddy would have been in trouble. So you kept quiet this whole time? Yeah. About Oki, your fishery cold storage warehouse. I actually met with one of the higher ups at Daddy's company last night, before I went to Matsushita Diner. Why? Because you asked about the cold storage. I was curious. I asked around some, and... And... I found out that Daddy was managing the warehouse before I was born. After my grandpa died, Daddy took over. In exchange for managing the warehouse, he gave ownership of the company to someone else. I guess he didn't want to let I bet it went to Sojima. Or maybe he couldn't let it go. That's more accurate, I think. But I understand why. Inside that warehouse was... Alice. On paper, Daddy has nothing to do with Okiura Fishery. Daddy was still managing the warehouse. And he was the only one allowed in there, too. That was part of the agreement when he gave up the company. And the whole thing had to be a secret. He really stressed that point. How long was he managing the warehouse? Hey, Mizuki. How long was he managing the warehouse? For 18 years. That's what the man told me. 18 years? From that long ago? Yes. Iba, I need an emergency search. Missing persons from 18 years ago. Understood. Huh? Date, I found her. The girl who looks like Iris. Go on. What's her name? Monica Ewai. 19 years old at the time of her disappearance. A graduate of a Toku high school. What? What, what? What? Renju was my classmate at a Toku high. Okay. We've known each other for 20 years now. Okay. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. Oh, that's right. One of the only friends I had. Alice's... Monica. It's Tommy's friend who went to the same school as her and Renju. But why? Yeah, why? Monica's body was found just now. But even back then, Hitomi knew. She knew that Monica was already dead. Iba, where is Hitomi right now? At headquarters for questioning. That's convenient. PD still believes that the body they discovered was Iris. Got it. That's Contact convenient. Boss. 
Have them bring Hitomi to Abyss. Are we gonna sink? Oh, we're gonna sink. Ah, wait. Here we are. Yeah, we are. Maybe. And we gotta, we gotta interrogate it first. Here we go, here we go. This will turn into a sink though, eventually. Definitely. You're awfully calm. You saw the corpse of your daughter today. You were called into the station to confirm her identity. And yet here you are, cool as a cucumber, even though you lost your precious daughter. Shall I guess why? Because it's not her. Because that body isn't Iris. And you know it. Are you serious? Yes. Her name is Monica Ewai. She was killed when she was 19. She went to the same high school as you, and she was your best friend. Isn't that right? Nothing to say for yourself? Hiding something? Maybe you killed her with Renju. That's ridiculous. Oh, now you're talking. But we know Renju committed a crime. Illegally disposing of a body. And we can prove it. The cold storage warehouse where the body was found. It's been managed by Renju Okiura for almost two decades now. And witness testimony proves that he knew about the corpse there. And if I'm not mistaken, you knew about the corpse too, Hitomi. Yep. You and Renju have been close since high school. It's not too much of a stretch to think that he told you about the body. And I remember you telling me once. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. No wonder you didn't have any friends. Like you get murdered. How did you know that she was dead? I didn't. Don't play dumb. I know you're hiding something. You know what happened 18 years ago. And you knew she was pregnant. You were her best friend. Of course you would have known. Tell me. Tell me everything! Date, she's not going to talk. Sink with her. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Date, I'm sure I've told you enough times by now, but please, come back within six minutes. Yes, Mama. I can't no. promise you that, Pewter. What do you mean? I mean, I'm not coming back until I find something. Date, you can't! Why not? You know why! Because it will take over my consciousness? Yes! But if it's only a little... No, not even a little! If the sink passes the critical point, the damage will be irreparable! But what does that mean exactly? Are you two hiding something? No. I'm not hiding anything. Oh, of course well, you are. Let's try it. Let's experiment with my mind. Then we'll know for sure what'll happen. Ugh, fine. I'll just say it. Yeah? Pewter, tell him. Me? I thought you were gonna say it. You know more about it than I do. <sighs> well... Come on, asshole, out with it. What happens after six minutes of sinking? Well, first off, six minutes is not a hard limit. It could be seven or even eight. I don't care about the exact time. <laughs> I'm asking what happens if you go beyond the limit. Do you remember the story I told you about the egg? What egg? Yeah, why? If you imagine an egg as your consciousness, the yolk is what goes into the subject's brain. Yes, that's right. The white remains inside But you always shell. get some white in there with the yolk. If you go beyond the limit, your yolk will not be able to return 
to its shell. Because the subject's mind will start to take over the sinker's consciousness, right? I know that part already. Indeed. But there's more to it. Go on then. After the yolk is devoured, the egg white is brought through the machine next. Huh? And there's more. It's not just the sinker's brain. The same process eventually occurs in the subjects as well. In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. Mind, consciousness, memory, they are traded, switched. Oh my god, that has so many implications. That has so many implications into what that could mean for the story. People, because there's another machine the that Renji owns. Can be understood as a memory limit. So they could have switched other people. One people could be other people. One consciousness. Fucking Jesus. <laughs> only one person's memories. So you're saying if I just did it for too long, I'd switch bodies with Hitomi. Anything else? Now you know everything. Talk to the boss. Why did you keep this a secret? I was unaware of this as well. This information is not on any accessible databases. We had to prevent the possibility that the system could be exploited. Well, it obviously Wait, might have been already. Even if it wasn't you, someone else might try. We didn't tell any sinkers this, including you. A project sink is a top secret project. It's a matter of national security. Even sinkers are on a need-to-know basis. Think about it. What if you were kidnapped by bad people who tried to make you talk? Bad people? A criminal organization, spies from another country, those people. If you blabbed about Project Sink, the entire country might be at risk. You heard it from Pewter. The Sink machine isn't just for entering a person's somnium. It can also be used to swap bodies between two people. Imagine what this machine would be used for in the wrong hands. That's why I didn't tell you. We can't let this secret get out. That has so many implications with the Renju's stolen prototype machine. Renju might not even be Renju. Her so Tomi and, bodies between and the people. dead body might be two different people. Trading minds. They could have swapped. Who knows? My god. I can't cope. <laughs> <laughs> you remember what I told you earlier. Are you listening to me? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I got it. Are you really okay? I'm fine. Start it. Understood. Let us begin. <laughs> Let the sinking commence. Also, we need to wrap this episode up because we're out of time. <laughs> so we're actually not going to be doing the Somnium until next time. God? I am the God of Fire. I burn erotic books with my flames of red hot anger. Cool. I guess. How ruthless. <laughs> Ow. Are you okay? That hurt. I'll let you read this porno mag if it'll make you feel better. I will burn it. It's in a dream. The fog is making it pitch black. The light over there. Is that a firefly? This is gonna bring us to the next ending, I reckon. This is gonna be the big one. Somnium scan. Activate.
That one's cool. Reveal the hidden secrets. Reveal Hitomi's secret buried deep inside. Yep. You got it. It disappeared? No, wait. It might still be nearby. Alright, we're out of time for this episode, of course. So we're going to wrap this one up here, and in the next one we're going to do Hitomi Somnium and find out what she's hiding him. Curious to know. This is quite exciting, and hopefully it'll unlock the final ending. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking it out for me, and I'll see you in the next one.